Just when it looked like the Western Conference couldn't be any more dangerous, the defending champion Spurs are looking like the Spurs again. They go into the week having won five games in a row. More importantly, more specifically, that point guard named Tony Parker is looking like Tony Parker again. In four of those five games, he scored 19 plus points. He's dealt with a lot of health problems this year, has admitted that he has not felt like himself, but Tony's looking good, the Spurs are looking good. As always, you cannot count them out. Russell Westbrook's onslaught continues and he is setting quite the stage for a big time game on Wednesday night. OKC against the Clippers, that means we get Russ against the one and only Chris Paul. Should be a lot of fun, but make no mistake, nobody in the league right now is as dominant as Mr. Westbrook. Five triple doubles in his last six games, the most recent coming Sunday night against Toronto, 30 points, 17 assists, 11 boards. And let's not forget, take a minute to remember what he's been through and appreciate the fact that he's finally healthy, finally playing at the top of his game again. Speaking of big time games on Wednesday night, the Houston Rockets going back into Portland for the first time since having their hearts ripped out in the playoffs last year. You better believe going into this game that they want to exercise those demons. They're third place in the Western Conference right now, doing so many good things, but I think this game is going to have a little extra meaning for the Rockets. When I sat down with Kobe Bryant recently in Newport Beach to discuss his documentary, he made a statement that I think plenty of people would disagree with. He said the fact of the matter is, everybody wants to play for this organization. I think the reality though is that this is not the Lakers of yesteryear and if they're going to get any help on the free agent market this coming summer, they're going to need a situation or two to go sour elsewhere to provide that spark. So on Sunday night when the Dallas Mavericks came into LA and beat the Lakers with Kobe Bryant sitting on the bench, you got to believe he sat there watching Rajon Rondo and wondered where his head would be at in July when he becomes a free agent. The Indiana Pacers are doing the unthinkable of late, turning their terrible season around and turning into one heck of a feel-good story. They've won 13 of their last 17 games, crawled into the 8th and final playoff spot in the East. Not the kind of story we thought we were going to see last summer when Paul George went down with a devastating leg injury while playing for Team USA, Lance Stevenson signed in Charlotte. You wouldn't have blamed Coach Frank Vogel if he wanted to just go crawl up in a hole. Lo and behold, here they are. And then how about this? Paul George is aiming to come back in mid-March or late March, should be ready in time for the postseason. 